I've never been asked that question before to define a woman, but I thought about what I know the Bible says about what a woman is. First of all, we're created. I love that. I also love the way that God uniquely uses women throughout the ages. My name's Ashley Spirik. I am currently serving as a student body president here at Huntington University. I'm majoring, I'm a senior majoring in history, political science, and philosophy. I think inherent in being a woman is a lot of struggle in the workforce, in the education system. By being a woman, you're going to have to face obstacles that men might not face. Uh, they may be underdogs, they may have faults, but they always tend to be redeemed in the story. Being a female trailblazer is different because there's, there are struggles that are unique to being a woman. Um, but I think anyone can be a trailblazer in their own right. So whether you're male, female, wherever you're from, you can be a trailblazer but the struggles of women are unique. And many times at the time, people don't really think of them as trailblazers. Maybe they think, of, they think of them as lunatics or people that are going off on a different direction. And why do you want to do that when the path is so clear? For Christian believers, whether you're male or female, if God has called you to do something, you just have to go for it. I think the most practical thing that I've learned throughout my time here at HU in leadership, and this is going to sound ridiculous, is the importance of talking to yourself in the mirror. I always focused on what was it I wanted to do and what were the obstacles for me to do it. You have to take that step, so just would encourage you with that, that God will not leave you or forsake you, He will equip you to do what you and look at yourself straight in the eye and say that I have a purpose here and I'm not going to let anyone take that away from me today.